I'm here with uh, Amalinda Krishna from the Tata Institute of Fundamental Research in Mumbai, India. He's a 2015 winner of the Ramanujan Prize. I have a, a few questions for you. Um, so how and why did you get interested in mathematics? Maybe take one at a time. <laughs> uh, uh, I was in my school and I used to like mathematics. So, uh, and uh, basically the liking grew up and uh, then I went to uh, Indian Statistical Institute. Uh, there, uh, my professors basically they were so good in math that I thought this is what I should do. But this is statistical institute is at a secondary level? Uh, as a, as no, no, this is at uh, the undergraduate level. The undergraduate level. Before undergraduate level, I had not really learned mathematics. I was more into different things. Uh, like what? Uh, basically, I used to uh, study. Uh, statistics and uh, some languages like Sanskrit, those kind of things I used to do more. I did not have much uh, exposure to pure mathematics until I went to Indian Statistical Institute. So you would say that your teachers were the biggest Yeah, and, Yeah, and there, uh, although I, I went there to study statistics, but I had some teachers in mathematics they taught me so well that I thought I should go into mathematics rather than statistics. And did you know you could make a living as a mathematician? Uh, no, at that time not much. I think uh, I thought that um, I will do my undergraduate at Indian Statistical Institute and then I will go abroad for my PhD. That was what I, most of my seniors used to do there. So I thought, oh, maybe this is what I am also supposed to do. And did your parents agree with this plan? No, actually, um, the problem was that, um, actually, uh, to go to U.S. at that time, the, the, you know, you had to apply for like several things, several schools, and it was financially quite uh, challenging for me. So I thought that I should uh, I, I should not uh, uh, try this. So then uh, my teacher at ISI told me that ISI I mean Indian Statistical Institute in India is famously known as ISI. So the, uh, some math professor told me that there is an institute called Tata Institute. Maybe I should apply for PhD program. And I applied there, and then uh, they called me for the program, and that's how I... So you did your PhD at the Tata yes. Institute, of which now you are a, a professor or a yes. member of the institute? Yeah. Now. Yes, <clears throat> And uh, was it, you th we would say, hard for you to uh, follow a career in mathematics in India? Uh, you mean uh, study mathematics? Yeah, was it challenging? Was it something difficult to... To find uh, the right spots somehow to continue. Yeah, the, yeah that's right. Uh, basically, uh, I, I am from a uh, province or a state in India which is uh, one of the, like, in terms of education, is one of the, the lower level of the stratum. So, uh, the academic atmosphere, particularly at the time when I was a student, I was in schools or high schools or intermediate college, I think it was uh, uh, quite poor, the, the exposure to higher education and um, nobody was really talking about going into research or going into even like good colleges. They were the, 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 uh, most of the people were thinking of going into bureaucracy or going into some other jobs. Uh, somehow my state uh, has been like historically, politically very active. It's one of the states which have been very deeply involved in Indian freedom struggle and all sorts of things and it continues to be in the limelight. So most of the people there want to be 
you know, like going into this kind of government jobs, become like bureaucrats, work in, work in some uh, with some ministers and all sorts of things. But this kind of uh, this side of education, namely the higher education in science, was really like not that much like heard of. So, and when I was in intermediate college, I also had this difficulty. I did not know what I am supposed to do. I liked mathematics, I, so, but so I used to do mathematics. My father was an engineer, so he, he liked mathematics, so he used to support me, but I didn't know what I have to do. So, it was, those few years were pretty challenging for me because I had, I had no idea what I am supposed to do. But then, uh, you know, one of those uh, softs, stationary shops, they used, they were like hanging some application forms for various jobs and various admission to various colleges. And then I saw something called Indian Statistical Institute admission form. And it was written mathematics and statistics. I found it fairly like interesting. So I went there and took the form and just submit, applied for the admission and I got into it. And then when I went there, it was, the situation was completely different because everybody in, was into mathematics and statistics academia, trying to learn something. So it was very difficult for me. I thought that it's very difficult for me to really stay here because I had never seen this kind of atmosphere. But my teachers were like uh, very good and so I also showed some interest so they supported me and that's how I basically got into this channel of doing mathematics and went to TIFR and there TIFR I did is the Tata Institute, Institute, yes, and I did PhD there. Then luckily I um, uh, I applied for postdoc and I got postdoc from UCLA. So that was good, and that's how I think it will. UCLA and in, in, in the California, US. yes, California. Yeah, yes. So in summary, uh, India lost a probably good politician, uh, but won a very good mathematician. Is that it? <laughs> I don't know good politician. I think I'm very bad at it. <laughs> yeah. Well, a smart one anyway. Yeah, maybe. So, um, if you were to give some advice to someone, um, in particularly from the developing world, some young person that has an interest in mathematics but doesn't quite know how to go about it or what to do, what, what would you recommend? Well, um, I think from my experience, what I found is that if you have interest in anything, be it mathematics or any any subject you want to excel in. I think if you are really interested in it and you want to do something, if you keep looking for the opportunities, there are opportunities at various places and if you keep looking and keep persisting on it, then at somewhere you will see some, some avenue to go into that and do well in this. So, so, so I think I would suggest to all the students to persist with what they want to do and I think that's the way I think to go, that's what I think. And uh, so you've been someone who uh, comes from India, went to the U.S. as a postdoc, but went back to India. How, yes. how does that uh, worked out? Mm, uh, actually, when I finished my uh, postdoc in UCLA, then I had uh, a position for one year in Institute of Advanced Studies in U.S. And, and then uh, by that time, it was like almost four or five years of my stay in U.S. And my father was already very bored of it. So uh, he say, he was not so happy that I continue being abroad for so long. So <clears throat> so I had some job offers from various places uh, in 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 UK and many other places. But my father was not so keen that I should continue. If I get a permanent job, that means I will not I will not go back to India. So he was not so. Uh, keen on that, so he told me that I should apply somewhere in India. So I, uh, by that time, uh, some faculty members from TIFR wrote to me that if I am interested, I said, "Oh, okay, I will, I, I will, anyway, I will apply." And then they gave me the offer, and I went back to India. Of course, uh, the Tata Institute is a very well-known yes. research place of very yes. high level. So. Yes. You went to a very good place as well. In That's the right. Yes, the conditions there. Are yes, very, very good. good. Yes, yes, yes. No, that was my uh, idea. That uh, well, if I have to go back to India, if, if I get job in Tata Institute, I will go back. Otherwise, I will not. 
So, but luckily I got the offer there and so I went back. Very good. And what would you uh, say are your goals for, for the future? What do you envision um, a few years down the line? Yeah, my goal is basically uh, whatever I am doing, uh, whatever research I am involved in, I want to uh, sort of uh, continue doing that and make it, uh, make it better and hope that uh, uh, I do, uh, I do, basically my aim is to do some work which can be, which can be satisfying academically. That's what I, I always aim to do that. Uh, so that's all. I want to continue working hard and uh, so that whatever I do, I feel that it, it, it's, it's uh, worth doing. And you've been forming students as well at, at Tata and so on, so you, f you see a continuity to, to the work you do. Yeah, yeah, that's right. So, yeah, so there are some students there and uh, they, they, some of them are working with me. So. I hope that uh, they do something along those lines. Very good. Thank you very much. Thank you.